What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Quarantino the God, coming at you live and direct. And today, we have a very special topic, nigga. So, <clears throat> I want to get into it. And while I'm talking, we're just going to scroll up and down this Explore page right here. And the reason for this is because I want you guys to understand what the, uh, the modern woman is actually about, what she's looking for in life, uh, what experiences that she wants to um, go through in life. And uh, the Explore page is kind of a summary of what all these hoes are kind of into nowadays. You know what I mean? So <clears throat> just scrolling down the Explore page, we see hella provocative pics. Um, and like I said, I'm not mad at it. You know what I mean? We got we got pregnant hoes. Um, we got big bitches. You know what I mean? The uh, the fake thick, chunky type. You know what I mean? <clears throat> uh, some more big bitches. We got ass. We got titties. We got swimsuit models. We got more big bitches, you know. And I just want y'all, we got celebrities. I just want y'all to understand that Looking at the Explore page tells you everything you need to know about the modern woman. Uh, so we'll just we'll just scroll up and down the Explore page while I talk. So, <clears throat> and you know, y'all y'all have some 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 treats to look at while I speak. But <clears throat> <clears throat> let me get into this topic. She makes you the nice guy work for it. You know, there are a lot of guys who have ran across women who tell them that, yeah, you got to wine and dine me. You got to take me out. You got to do this, that. You got to buy this. You got to be paying my rent to let to let you hit and all this type of shit. We hear this all the time on Twitter, on all forms of social media and all this shit. Right. We hear this all the time. And it's not it's not very surprising because, <clears throat> like I said, from the Explore page, they see all these guys like they see all these guys who are extremely successful, who've made a name for himself. Look, we got the game. We got Kobe Bryant. We got Samuel Jackson right here. Guys like that who have the ability to do these things for the woman. But the thing is, they the, these women, they don't require guys who actually can do it to do it. The only guys that they require to finance their lifestyle are the guys who fucking can't afford it. Yeah, you know I mean, like, do you think a bitch is 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 um, God bless the dead. But when he was alive, do you think that a bitch would say, Kobe, I need you to pay my rent. I need you to do this for you to let for for for, for so that you'll hit. Hell no. This nigga Kobe Bryant don't got to take. He didn't have to take a bitch nowhere. Um, you know what I'm saying? Got more big bitches. He didn't have to take a bitch nowhere. Pull up to the hotel, motel, Holiday Inn, whatever. You could pull up at the budget motel. That nigga's hitting. So I don't want you guys to be doing any extra shit. More big bitches. Right here. Three, three in a row, actually. I don't want you guys to be doing any extra shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't want you guys to be stressing yourself like, damn, I got to take this bitch out. Damn, I got to pay her rent. Damn, I got to do this, pay her car note, whatever. No, because the thing is, they do not require the same thing out of the guys that they really want. See, these high value guys, the high status guys, they don't do any of this, right? They don't do any of it. They don't take no bitch out. They don't have to wine and dine. It's pull up to the crib and get hit and you're lucky to be a bitch who got hit by a nigga like me. And that's the type of attitude that you should hold. Now, <clears throat> I know some guys aren't really that confident to, to feel that way about themselves. But guys, you got to realize that that's the only way to be. Because, look, she'll make you jump through hoops and all this shit. 
But then when it comes to a nigga like me, when it comes to a nigga like these other guys out here who are successful and winning and got a bag and don't really have to chase a bitch, when it comes to niggas like us, nigga, we hitting on the first night. Like, we hitting on the first hangout. Like, I don't have to take a bitch out to hit. You know what I mean? But they're making you guys do it. And and in all actuality, it's just not fair. It's not, it's not, um, it's not fair. And if you're a guy who values himself, she will only be able to value you if you hold that type of attitude. She'll she'll be wondering, like, why the fuck? How can he think the way that he thinks? How can he act the way that he acts? That he must have something going on. Even if you don't, my nigga, like it's bum niggas who can hit bitches off the strength. Like in in their mama's basement, if they look good enough, you know they got the height, they got the they got um the the good looks and the good genes. Niggas can hit <clears throat> off basically, you know, just looking good. But she will make you work for it. She'll make you try and wine and dine, or she'll make you do all these things, my brother. And 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 I'm just sitting here watching a lot of guys going through this shit, and I'm like, damn, like. This is a, like if I look back on like some of the bitches that I fuck, like <laughs> I'm like, damn, she made him do this, that, and the third to hit, and like, nigga, she pulled up to my apartment. I had three roommates that was loud as fuck the whole time listening in, and she still let me hit. Like the circumstances change when you are a nigga of value, right? <clears throat> like when I was playing ball, it didn't matter. It did not matter what I did like I didn't have to take a bitch out I didn't have to go nowhere we didn't have to go on no long walks in the park we didn't have to go on no adventures you see bitches in their tinder profiles talking about take me on an adventure no they want y'all niggas to take them on the adventure they want you beta niggas to take them on the adventure and I'm not saying that it's not you don't have you you shouldn't take a woman out and shit like that but you shouldn't take her out unless you hit and and I'm standing on that. You should not come out of pocket for shit unless you are having sex with this woman. Otherwise, nigga, anything that she asks, oh, I need this, I need that, nigga, fuck that. Fuck that. I'm not I'm not finna do none of that shit. Yeah you know I mean? <clears throat> I ain't finna do none of that shit. Because you didn't make the last nigga that that uh that you let hit do that you ain't let you ain't make the last five niggas that you let hit do that but now all of a sudden you got standards because you t- you fucking with me and you see that i'm a good guy oh hell no nah. hell no nah. i'm gonna treat you how you've been treating yourself for the last five niggas <laughs> like it guys please don't fall for this trap they will tell you all this shit you'll be seeing on the dating apps all these requirements that a bitch got for a nigga it's bullshit She, I promise you, I guarantee you, the last nigga that was inside of her vagina, she did not make him take her out. Promise you, before he hit. I promise you. These bitches are not getting taken out, dog. Like, contrary to popular belief, these bitches are not getting dinner dates with the niggas that they have sex with. And that's just the facts. Um, So I really just wanted to address that point. While we scroll down this explore page, I mean, we've got some beautiful women on the explore page, but 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 this is this is the fact of the matter. These women are trash. All of them like the like unless you see like, come on, dude, come on. Twenty thousand likes for this shit. Y'all niggas are so fucking thirsty. Twenty five thousand twenty thousand likes, four hundred and fifty five comments. Let's just look at these comments, bro. And this is a big bitch. It's a big bitch, man. Like, I'm not even sticking my... Look, I'm not even going to go there. Um, So, yes, Fashion Nova. Yes. I actually love you. These are bitches. You look beautiful, but you should be at home. (laughs) Stay at home, guys. Stay at home. Ugh, okay, but how, girl? You're Okay, but how? What are you talking about? Like... And I'm not just trying to rag on this specific uh, female and shit like that. I don't even know who she is, but it's just like so much shit. This dude talking about some so bad. Look, dude, y'all niggas have no standards. And these these will be the bitches who will tell you, you got to take me out. You got to do this, that, and the third. Like, my nigga, are you fucking serious? The only place I'm taking you is to a gym where they got a treadmill. That's the only place I'm taking you, baby girl. Like, 
come on now. Like, come on, bro. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas want to cuff hoes like this. Like, like, and it's, it, the thing is, <clears throat> the guys who know, no, like, like regular guys, like, we'll see this bitch. We'll be like, okay, cool. Yeah. We'll fuck the hell out this bitch. Look, we'll fuck all this. Like, we will have sex with a lot of these bitches on the Explore page. Even this bitch, she's a little bigger. Oh, she's a little bigger. Nah, she a big bitch. But niggas will still knock it down. You know what I mean? And the thing is, <clears throat> the thing is, though, niggas like us, we see this type of shit, and we're not cuffing. Real niggas, we're not, <clears throat> we're not cuffing, bro. We're looking at this shit. We're looking how they present themselves online, and we're saying, man, it would be fun to have a few nights with her, maybe a week. You know what I mean? Keep her around for a little bit. Have her on retainer for sex. But anything above that, we're not really, we're not really looking for it. <clears throat> and these women will probably say, oh, yeah, we don't care. We don't care. Da, 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 da. We're so confident in this, that, and the third. We want to show off our bodies and shit like that. Look, that's cool. That's A-OK. <clears throat> but... But my thing is, like, come on, dude. Like, Shorty is catching fish. And it's like, what are we supposed to be looking at? The fish or the tits? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm so confused. And the captions are just funny. Redfish are definitely my favorite inshore fish. They are beautiful and taste delicious, too. The wind has been pretty crazy over here. The last few weeks has kept us off the water. But hopefully that will change soon. One, uh, on another note... I'm in the market for a trolling motor. If anyone is selling one, let me know. Also, my tits are out. <laughs> like, guys, <clears throat> it's like the, the the thirst traps. The thirst traps are endless. Another big bitch. 3,700 likes. And um, I'm just I'm just sitting here like, what do you guys see in these hoes? Like, y'all are really, y'all are really piping these bitches up. Like, now this bitch, she's like. A bigger bitch, niggas will take it down. Got some big ass titties, whatever. But still, like, how many likes? Let's see. Let's see how many likes they had. Fourteen hundred likes. Twenty twenty five hundred likes on Shorty right here. Like, a lot of y'all niggas are just liking shit for the sake of liking, knowing that you'll never see this bitch in real life. You'll never, you'll never be able to fuck these bitches. But you liking steady liking these pictures, boosting these bitches' heads up. And it's like, y'all are giving them a reason to do this. And and honestly, like, <clears throat> most of them, they'll probably be like, yeah, we don't care. Like, we're still getting dick and all this other shit. Of course, you're going to get dick. But I wonder how many of these women are actually going to have some niggas who actually respect them and who will and who will be with them off the strength of their personality, even though that's probably not what they want. And that's what I, I want you guys to realize. These bitches don't give a fuck about nobody's personality. All this Instagram shit, explore page shit, it's about looks. Everything that you see on the explore page, a bitch wants. Everything. Everything you see on the explore page, bitches want. Okay? So let's just get that through y'all motherfucking heads. Everything you see on the explore page, bitches want. Like, do you think guys like Christian McCaffrey have to work for a pussy? Do you think guys like Christian McCaffrey are paying bitches rent? And I, I think he got a girl or whatever, but you think, come on, Christian McCaffrey is getting all the pussy that he want out there in um, Carolina, in North Carolina. Do you think these guys are paying bitches rent? Do you think Lamar Jackson has to whine and dine a bitch? Hell no. Pull up to the crib, bitch. It's Baltimore. It's Baltimore. What it do? You know what I mean? Like, you getting banged out. Like, niggas is not working for this shit because they don't have to. They work for the success. Guys, focus on your success. Work for your success. And then these bitches will come and they won't require a damn thing from you. I promise you that. <clears throat> so, on another note, I wanted to address this topic too. Guys, women continually say, I want a man who's in touch with his feminine side and this, that, and the third. This is a lie from down under. This is a lie that is from down under. 
These bitches do not want a nigga who is in touch with their feminine side. Actually, they want a, the opposite. They want a man who is unapologetically masculine, a guy who doesn't apologize for him standing on his word, a guy who makes a statement and stands on it, a guy who, um, you know what I mean, like 11,000 likes for this one, well-deserved, well-deserved, I'll say, but um, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's just motherfuckers is, I wouldn't, I don't like bitches' pictures, bro. I don't like bitches pictures unless I'm involved with her. I'm not going to like her pictures. But anyways, these women are telling you that they want a guy in touch with their feminine side. But dude, do you think that a a, a woman like this is going to have sex with a nigga who's in touch with his feminine side? Because a nigga who's in touch with his feminine side is the gay best friend. You feel me? Like look at the look, look at these ladies. I promise you, the niggas that are they're letting hit, the niggas that they're letting fuck are not in touch with their feminine side. As a matter of fact, they're probably a lot more masculine than these bitches can handle. And these men actually require something. These these men actually require these bitches to um, be worth a damn. That's why these hoes are getting papped out, and that's another reason why they keep posting these provocative pictures. Is because <clears throat> it's because for one, the, a woman like this, for example, she'll have sex with a dude, right? And you know, think think that it's something a high value guy. Imagine, okay, say say she's fucking a, a ball player, like an NBA player, basketball player, or actor, or whatever. She'll have sex with him, and you know, he already knows his intentions. He sees her on the gram and the way that, that she conduct, conducts herself. She's half naked. Men don't want to. The men don't want other men fantasizing about their woman openly. Yeah, I mean, like if a dude sees a bitch in the street, of course he's gonna be like, "Shit, I'll fuck the hell out that bitch." But they don't want a man to have unmitigated access to fantasize about his woman. And these are what these women are doing. They're giving. Men unmitigated access to fantasize about them and they love it. They love the sexual attention until it runs out when they get older. But the thing is, and when they hit the wall, but the thing is, guys, do you think, do you think anybody is cuffing? Me and my cousin, we got an inside joke. We'll be on Instagram. We'll be uh, scrolling on the explore page and I'll be, you know, we'll look at a bitch. She might be bad or whatever. Yeah, you know I mean, and then we'll just be like, you'll cuff. <laughs> And then we just do it to get on each other's nerves because of course not. We're not cuffing these bitches, even though they look beautiful, they look gorgeous. But I promise you, dog, I would rather I would rather have a mediocre bitch. No cap. No cap. I would rather have a mediocre bitch who's in shape, obviously, but I'd rather have a mediocre seven who 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 is modest and, you know, who's who's overall conservative in her uh I guess in in her revealing her body, I would I would much rather have a fucking seven or six, my nigga, than to have one of these tens, nines, eights, eights, ten, whatever, whatever you want to call it. I would rather have a bitch like that on my hip, on my side, building an empire than one of these hoes. Because the thing about these bitches. They are posting these pictures. You know, some of them they might get paid off of. But we see what happened to Ruby Rose. She has a million followers on Instagram. And it seemingly, it looked like she couldn't afford to pay for her plane ticket. Now, on Instagram, you know, I did some follow-up work. And I was watching her story. And she was posting stacks of cash and shit like that. (sighs) That is probably not her money. That's probably not her money. Nobody is getting paid stacks of cash right now in this time of the Rona because those are walkthrough bags. You feel me? You got to walk through the club to get a bag like that. That's that brown paper bag money. Nobody is getting paid like that. Not even the top rappers because they're not opening up venues. So it was probably not her money that she posted. But anyways, like I said, like I was saying, like, look, obviously, obviously it looks great. It looks good. It's awesome. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, niggas are not really trying to cuff that. And it is what it is. Like, obvious, like obviously, these bitches might have boyfriends. Obviously, these bitches are fucking another big bitch, right? Obviously, and she's got 16,000. Obviously, bitches are fucking. They're not going out without dick. But 
is it is it is it with one dude? Probably not. Is it consistent? Probably not. You know what I mean? It's multiple niggas. They got a lineup. They got a rotation, just like a lot of you niggas are building your rotation. They got a rotation of men that they let come through and smash. Um, and, and that's 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 what's going on. Twelve thousand likes for Shorty right here. And I'm not saying that she's ugly or all this other shit. Like I'm not gonna t- call these bitches ugly or nothing, but she's just bigger, <laughs> and it's it's just crazy. Two thousand likes, bro, bro. <sighs> so, anyways, like y'all see what the fuck is going on? Like, and I'm not even gonna go in deep into this subject, but with LeBron James and. Uh, and 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 his side piece allegedly whoever the fuck that bitch is it was an article that came out about lebron james and his side piece whatever um as a matter of fact i'll look this i'll look this shit up right now uh let's see let's see mm, 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 mm. all right all right all right so Yeah, so in 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 <clears throat> LeBron James rumors, but the model who's going to celebrate her twenty third birthday soon has been attending LeBron James game. Okay, okay, so this is Sophia Jamora. Yeah, so this is the shorty who is allegedly LeBron James side side chick. We'll just look her up right quick. Sophia Jam. Mora, boom. <clears throat> so yeah, look what type of woman she is. Look what type of woman she is. I mean, she's obviously doing her little model thing or whatever. She's a gorgeous chick, right? Probably a nine, ten. Yeah, you know I mean, she's fucking with LeBron. She gets to have sex with LeBron, which is her pride and joy in life. I promise you. Like this, the her, her having sex with LeBron is like her pride and joy. I promise you. Like she's, she's probably, she's probably like, uh, she 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 probably holds that in high esteem to her success in life, and uh, and her former best friend, this Urza Halidi, Urza Halidi, right? This is the bitch who basically snitched on her now whether she's having sex with lebron james is neither here nor there but do you think lebron james has to wine and dine this bitch absolutely not i mean he has a wife so of course he's not gonna do that at all right he ain't gonna do that shit at all right because it's a paper trail all this other shit you can't be doing i mean he might he might get her you know courtside tickets to the game whatever it ain't like she couldn't afford it herself if she, you know, actually is getting bread from this modeling shit. But let, let, let's look at her friend who basically snitched on her. But for one, she was following 351 people. This bitch, she dates a uh, uh, NFL tight end, right? She is following 349 people. Now, at first, they were following the same amount of people. But this is just a testament to how these women cannot stay friends for shit. Like, <clears throat> it is what it is. They're not real friends. All these women's, like, friendship relationships. Bitches definitely like going out l- with a whole bunch of bad bitches because it puts hell of attention on them. You see? It puts hell of attention on them. But at the end of the day, they don't stay friends. They don't have these lifelong bonds that you would see a lot of dudes have. They're really pitted against each other, and they're all competing for attention. So let's keep scrolling down this explore page, <clears throat> and I'm and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna uh, wrap it up here. I think we already clicked on this bitch. Yeah, I mean, but uh, but anyways, I just I just want to say this, and this is my last this is my last comment before I have to head out, guys. With all that being said, with all this information that I have given you, with all the uh, with with all these revelations that I'm dropping, right? This is what I'll tell you. 
don't allow the knowledge of these the of of the the nature of these women don't allow the knowledge and and uh you know your your uh, your newfound awakeness to to alter your character yeah you know i mean like if you see a bitch like this and you know you want to hit you don't have to you don't have to uh well i mean i guess you have to treat her like shit if you want to keep her like she ain't shit or whatever but <laughs> you don't have to go outside of yourself is what i is what i mean to say you don't have to go outside of yourself in order to continue to live a fulfilled life like the fact that that these women are doing all this shit for attention and shit like that the women that you probably want and shit are 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 they don't want you and only you you don't have to let that change the type of guy that you are. Like if you're a good guy and you know you grew up on 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 good morals, good foundations, you don't have to uh, uh, you don't have to let these different revelations change the way that you think about the world. The only thing that it should change is the way that you think about women. You guys definitely need to start so or stop putting these bitches on a pedestal. You guys definitely need to stop glorifying the fact that these bitches can put their ass on the gram and it's all Gucci. Yeah, you know I mean, y'all can't let shit ride. And if you're dating a woman who is like an Instagram model or, or whatever or any of these type of uh, revealing professions, I say, I mean, just just take it with a grain of salt, my nigga. Let it ride. But don't do no extra shit. You don't have to go out of your way to prove that you care about this woman. You don't have to go because I promise you the last five niggas that she let fuck did not do that at all. They didn't do it at all. So you don't have to go out of your way. You don't have to wine and dine. You don't have to get down on one knee. You don't have to propose to none of these bitches. Even if they put the pressure on you, let her walk because I promise you. You will be able to find a higher quality woman when it comes to mental, when it comes to her mindset, when it comes to um, her motherly ability and her child rearing ability. You will definitely be able to find a better quality woman than these hoes on the explore page. And just remember, everything on the explore page, your woman wants the rappers, the ball players, the um, athletes, everything on the explore page she wants. And at any moment. If there is an ability for her to get that, if there's an opportunity for her to get that, she will slight you. She will break any bond that she has with you. She will break up with you. Another big bitch. 5,000 likes. Come on, guys. We got to do better. She will She will break any ties with you in order to fulfill her explore page fantasies. So that's really all that I want to hit on today. Another big bitch. Guys, stop liking these fucking big fat bitches, whale looking ass hoes pictures. My nigga, you are boosting this bitch head up. I promise you she has, uh, I promise you she has the fucking highest standards in the fucking world. This big old bitch. Like, look, man, let's just go down. I, okay, let's see. Let's see if she has some revealing captions. Oh, these, I guess this is a page of big bitches. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's find this particular bitch. Not this one. Let's find a bitch who in the fridge. <laughs> Repost from Danny two times. And I guess these are, okay, let's try and find this particular bitch. Daniela Damua. Nope, another big bitch. Okay, okay. All right, I'm going to spend like, two more seconds on trying to find this bitch and then if we can't find her then matter of fact fuck it anyways my thing is these big bitches probably have more standards than all these bitches all these regular bitches combined stop putting these hoes on a pedestal y'all gotta stop liking these pictures and and going in the comments and looking thirsty that shit it'll never get you no hoes bruh like i promise you all these dudes who are in the comments uh boosting these bitches heads up have not ever had no bad bitches before I promise you, they 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 just haven't. Like, like they're probably fucking ugly ass bitches, but are lusting after these beautiful women and shit like that. 
look, let's let's check hers. I promise you she has like all these types of captions that say, oh, you got to do this, that, and the third to fuck with a bitch like me. Um, let's see. What day is it again? It ain't coming down. Why would I need to? Oh, I ain't coming down. Why would I need to? So she's basically saying she ain't coming down to your level because she's popping and she got 9,400 followers on Instagram, my nigga. She's not finna acquiesce to a nigga. I usually don't post more than two or three photos per set, but today I'm feeling generous, so show love. Look, the tattoos are extremely revealing of a damaged woman. Just so y'all know, authentic, adjective, of undisputed origin, genuine. Do you think she's authentic? Because y'all just be looking at these bitches' captions and believing this shit. Do you think she's authentic? Do you think she's a real bitch? Once I'm gone, ain't no going back. Yeah, you know I mean? Do you think she's authentic? Chubby Bunny. I'm just asking y'all the question. And y'all can give me an answer. This is the last caption. It's a long one. I am, I am the mess you, cho- you chose. The closet you cannot close. The devil in you, I suppose. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if she wrote this. Um, nah, it's probably song lyrics. Anyways, yeah, she's my time and most of the energy I put into my work. Da, 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 da. Long ass caption. I promise you these bitches is fucking the cameraman. I promise you these bitches who are doing these photo shoots, they fucking the cameraman. You know, uh, Fosse, you know what I mean? He's fucking a lot of these models that he shoots. He's fucking a lot. And I promise you, he'll tell you, he's fucking a lot of these models that he shoots. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I ain't saying that he hit every single one of them, but a lot of them, they getting smashed, bro. By the niggas who are taking these photo shoots of them. Like, it's a very... If you if you decide to cuff one of these uh, type of bitches, yeah, you know I mean it's a very <clears throat> it's a very slippery slope. So just make sure you know what the fuck you're doing when you get involved with one of these bitches, these explore page bitches and shit like that. It can be very dangerous because you think that they're one way, you think they're nice, sweet, and everything nice, but I promise you, the last five niggas that they let fuck. Did not have to treat them good. Did not have to wine and dine them. He was probably like a douchebag type dude that she fell for because he looked good and he was 6'5". All right? So you already know what it is. Don't let this red pill shit diminish your character. You can still be a good guy and still know the game. I just want everybody to know that. So, but you just can't be a good guy to these bitches. You got to be like, you got to be emotionally unattached, right? And then they'll fall for you. And that's the game. I wish it wasn't like that. I wish you could show all your love and all your emotions and pour your heart out to a bitch. But once you do that, she will not respect you. So you already know what it is. It's your boy, Quarantino to God. First of all, stop liking these big bitches pictures. See, I can understand if y'all liking bitches like this pictures look cool. She's a beautiful woman. And if you want to give it a like, she got 95,000 likes, all this other shit. Look, but when I see... When I see, and I'm not saying that she don't look good, that I wouldn't take her down, but when I see, look, man, when I see 8,600 likes and and, and thirsty ass comments, I'm just like, damn, y'all niggas is like really out here like that. Like, it's so fucking crazy that y'all niggas are really out here like that. But anyways, y'all already know it is your boy Quarantino the guy. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Send your relationship questions to my email down below with a screenshot of your cash app so I know you paying your tithes. Y'all need to be on y'all motherfucking dean with the bullshit. It's your boy Quarantino the guy. I'm out.